What's up everyone? This is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo. Today we're taking a look at the T-Mobile MyTouch Q new phone. It's available now for $50 with a new two-year contract. Let's go through the box really quickly. All right, here's the phone itself. It's got a five megapixel camera on the back. Speaker, you got a micro USB charging port, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top, a power button, volume keys on the top left, and again that nice slide out QWERTY keyboard. Not a bad phone for 50 bucks. Let's look what's in the box now. You got the SIM card and all of your paperwork, terms and conditions, and of course, the charging cables. So, 50 bucks gets you the MyTouch Q with the full QWERTY keyboard, a 1.4 gigahertz processor. This is a four inch display with an 800 by 480 pixel resolution. Now you'll notice the difference between this and the original MyTouch that's also available now is that this one sports a QWERTY keyboard. So you have the option of getting QWERTY, or no QWERTY, same price. Um, great mechanism here, it's really solid. The keyboard itself feels really nice to type on. I was using it earlier. We'll skip this part of the setup. You can see the home screen. The nice weather uh, widget right there. Go through, unique list layout. I'm sure this can be changed, let's see. Oh, doesn't appear so, maybe in the settings. Lots of bloatware, T-Mobile name ID, T-Mobile TV, the genius button of course, first search using your voice. Basically you can do this on all hands, so it's, uh, all Android handsets at this point, but this will automatically search through Yelp and other restaurants, etc. We won't go through that, you've seen this before I'm sure. And then the downloads tab right there. Okay, so another neat feature here on the MyTouch Q is from the home, from the lock screen, you can choose to go to any different value there. I suppose I would say there's messages on the left, there's missed calls on the top, the cameras on the right, and just the unlock on the right. So if I go right to camera, it launches the camera application. It seems to take okay photos, five megapixel. It's not going to record 1080p video, but you get what you pay for for 50 bucks. Here I'll show you the genius button again because we skipped it earlier. Right now it's going into uh, CNN. So we just spoke our CNN command. And it's trying to search for it, slowly. There we go, it worked. That's funny, it didn't work on the MyTouch uh, that I just filmed. In any case, it worked on the MyTouch Q, so that's weird, so probably not that stable in general. Um, it's a nifty feature. It's not as good as Google Search. So this also runs, speaking of that, Android 2.3 Gingerbread, so you're not getting the latest Android ice cream sandwich operating system. Um, that means it's two generations old, so for 50 bucks, you're getting something that's definitely not up to date with all of Android. Um, but otherwise, nice solid design. If you want the keyboard, if you want the dedicated camera button, you know, this is a great option, especially for anybody on a budget. So this is Todd Hazelton with TechnoBuffalo.com.